Hello and welcome to Excel Video 295. I'm Nate Moore. I just got back from Indiana where I spent several days helping a practice pull all kinds of interesting data out of their PM system as well as a couple other systems to better manage their practice. When you're ready to have somebody on site at your practice pulling your data, I'd love to help you. We're going to play with a new data set today. Rather than collections, we're going to play in reimbursement. And I'm going to start with raw data just to kind of remind us how to create a pivot table. I can click any place inside my data because my data is clean and organized. There aren't a bunch of blank lines and rows and columns going on. And go to the insert menu. We'll insert a pivot table. And because my data is organized, Excel can tell that my data goes from A1 to J8001. I'll put the pivot table in a new worksheet. And I'll click OK. Let's drag build charges down to get started. And then, you know, the CPA just needs to make the number look better. So we're going to format it as currency and get rid of the pennies. So there's my bill charges. And what I want to understand is, okay, those $46 million bill charges, let's see where these bill charges are being generated. Uh, let's look at it by doctor. So if I drag doctor down to the row labels, I've got some doctors here. What I'm going to do is let's assume that these doctors here are part of... Um, a, a let's say we're a multi-specialty group and what we want to do is change these folks and let's group them if I come here it will say group selection normally if my screen is a little wider you'd see group selection there but either way we'll group them and notice what happened differently than last time when I group dates Excel could recognize hey these are dates do you want to do months or years and when I chose months or years or whatever it was that I chose Excel was really good about figuring out how to name those things because it knew, hey, I grouped them by years, I can call that year, and it was easy. When I group text, Excel can't do that. And what Excel does instead is it just calls it group one. So let's call these my primary care guys. These are my PCPs. And I'll um, just change the name there. And the other thing I need to do is notice when I grouped these, I could just change them. Let me do one more. Let's do this physician and this one and this one we're going to group these and we'll group them there and let's uh, say these guys are maybe I've got some orthopedic surgeons in my practice so orthopedic and let's say these other three here when we group those options and group Let's say these guys are, oh, what the heck, they're cardiology. Now, a couple of things I want to show you here before we get going too far. The first one is, I, I still have an issue here. I still have doctor and doctor two. Notice I can rename group one, group two, and put give those better names. But what I need to do is come over here and change the field settings. And this um, is specialty. Notice custom name here will allow me to rename the source field. It just Excel called it Doctor 2 because I grouped doctors. And we'll click OK there. And now I have specialty and doctor. Now watch what happens when I pull doctor up. Now I just have my specialties, my PCPs, my orthopedic group, and my cardiologists. And my doctors are there. Now if I put my doctors underneath, then it will um, sort them for me. That's a start at grouping text. I want to play with a few more things you can do with grouping text, and we'll do it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.